Hi, this is the product overview for Ruit. Ruit is an anonymous themed chat, chat rooms that millennials can connect with uh, random users. Um, very similar to Hala or Azar, but not in the same scale in that there's no face-to-face -face interaction. Um, so if you open the app first, um, basically on the most right-hand side, you'll see a brief overview. I haven't made any updates here. You can also put in your school, your sign, gender, anything about yourself. Let's see. And then if you had done any chats with others, um, you'll see a um, area here where you can talk to people. This is a chat bot. And in the home screen that you initially come to, you can go to, for example, the soul bar, and you'll see um, people who are um, a chat bot chatting to you about what you want to do. So let's just say, you just say, let's have something strong, right? And maybe I want a whiskey or sorry, draft beer. Um, so if you respond, it the chatbot will start looking for a relevant person for you to talk to. And let's just wait for a couple seconds. Okay, um, they might not be coming anytime soon. Um, it typically takes a little bit for you to get connected to other users. Um, and I think one of the interesting things that you can look at is this. There's a store where you're able to buy certain um, vouchers or I guess um, items and essentially you know, help you do in-app purchases so that you can have a better experience on the app, which I thought was interesting. And you know, I think the, fit, the prices for these uh, gems, I'd say, are relatively great um, in terms of price point. Um, and also, it also caters to the LGBT community. So I think the user base is a really broad spectrum for this one. Um, and also I think the fact that it's anonymous, I think keeps a lot of Gen Z users interested in the product versus you know just having their face and that's their sole identity. So I think this could be a potentially very attractive product to younger users versus um, the older users. Um, and, you know, I think a couple things that they could improve is definitely the UI. I think it's kind of glitchy. Um, as you've noticed, some of the conversations, let's just say you open this. Oh, okay. Okay. So I can't enter that. Okay. So the conversations, typically, I think the chatbot goes a little bit too fast. So I think that's one of the problems and you can't really read it clearly unless you slow down. Um, but, you know, otherwise, I think it's a really interesting, neat product. Um, I wish they had more theme chat rooms rather than three of them. So maybe in the future, they'll build out more products. They haven't really raised that much money. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens in the future.